Odysseus, the first U.S.-built spacecraft to touch down on the moon in more than half a century, is tipped over on its side, according to an update from NASA. 약 반세기 만에 처음으로 달 착륙에 성공한 미국의 무인 달 탐사선 오디시우스가 현재 옆으로 넘어져 있는 상태로 보인다고 미국의 항공 우주국 NASA가 제공지했습니다. 자, exciting, yeah, yeah. exciting news, right? Yeah. In the space world here, uh, the spacecraft it touched down last Thursday. Uh huh. Yeah. So to touch down, of right. course, it landed. Mm. Right. It landed uh, on the moon, and I believe in about half a century, it's the first time that the U.S. has built or actually gone to the moon. Right. Since the late 1970s. Right, and they've never actually been this close to the south pole of the moon exactly uh yeah. i think that's what the main mission oh, of see. this uh spacecraft was right. was they wanted to research this area in the south pole of the moon aha uh -huh. touchdown 이라는 게 land 했다 라는 의미가 있는 거고요 but it's tipped over um on its side is it yeah it is unfortunately yeah. so scientists have learned that it fell over if something tips over, that means uh, it falls over. Usually, it'll cause something to break or to spill. Right. So what I envision is something teetering. It just uh, yeah. it doesn't fall to the ground uh, with a thud. It's just mm. teetering, teetering, teetering until it kind of tips over. Yeah, uh, this reminds me of the expression tipping point. Tipping point, yes. Yes, which is uh, that point where, first of all, you're balanced, and then finally that one thing makes you fall over. But as you said, it's not falling over like drastically right? yeah humpty dumpty mm -hmm. exactly. you know? it's just sort of falling to one side yeah it's also the yeah. title of a famous book right the tipping uh, point malcolm yes. gladwell yeah yeah, yeah exactly yeah. tip over uh, tipping point 할 때도 다 마찬가지인데요 이게 이제 한쪽으로 샥 넘어진다라는 뜻이 있습니다 yeah so think of a vase or a vase or a bicycle is another example yeah. you can think of that tips over. Yes, exactly. 자, 여기서 it is tipped over라는 것은 이렇게 넘어진 상태다라는 의미가 되겠습니다. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, 세계 최초의 민간 탐사선 오디시우스 yeah, so this area near the South Pole is uh, very exciting because that's where I think the, the ultimate uh, finding that scientists want is any uh, history or evidence of water. Yeah, yeah right? exactly. Mm -hmm. 자, 그럼 다시 한번 읽어보겠습니다. Odysseus, the first US-built spacecraft to touch down on the moon in more than half a century, is tipped over on its side, according to an update from NASA. Moving on, this is our next headline. Bobby the dog has been posthumously stripped of his title as world's oldest dog, as the Guinness World Records said it had no evidence that the elderly canine who died last year was as old as claimed. 기네스북 측은 작년에 사망한 노견 버비가 세계 최고령 개였음을 증명할 근거가 충분하지 않다며 버비에게 주어졌던 해당 자격을 사후 박탈했습니다. Oh. Poor Bobby. Yeah. He, she, I believe it's a she. Okay. She's a good dog, I think. Oh, right? yeah. She was claimed to be just over 31 years old. 31 years old, believe yeah, it or not. Yeah. Uh, what would that make? She was born in 1992? Would that be? I, I that guess make so. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If my math is correct. Yeah, and they say, in human terms, uh -huh. How that old would, would that be, be about two hundred and twenty years 200, old. <laughs> okay, so two hundred twenty years old. Wow. So yeah. good for Bobby, but uh, unfortunately, um, you know, she was the oldest dog. Yeah. Um, but that title was stripped posthumously. Uh huh. Which right? means after she died. After she died. Yeah. 이 단어가 굉장히 길죠. 그냥 발음이요. Uh, posthumous 이렇게 아니 하지 않고요. Posthumously 이렇게 발음을 합니다. Yeah, there's a ch in there. Posthumously. Yes, right? that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, posthumously 이렇게 추 발음이 들리는 그런 발음이고요. 사후에 이제 가장 나이가 많은 그런 개였다라는 타이틀이 박탈이 된 것인데, so they say they can't exactly prove mm -hmm. that she was born when they say she was born. And that's the problem, yeah, right? They yeah. have no evidence. Yeah, Right? Exactly. Evidence, um, proof, you know, yeah. a clue or right. a sign. Um, if something is evident, mm. it's clear, right? So they need something yeah. clearly uh, that proves, yeah. something clear that proves that, uh, you know, Bobby was born on a certain date. Uh -huh. uh, Stephen Young is evidently mm -hmm. um, a really sought-after actor these days. Clearly. Clearly. Yes. 네. 
evidently 아니면은 it is evident 그러면은 굉장히 명백하다 명백히 이런 의미가 있는데요 evidence는 증거가 되겠습니다 there's no evidence라는 거니까 정확하게 그때 주장했던 것처럼 31년하고 165일 살았다라는 증거가 없대요 그러다 보니 이 자격은 일단 박탈이 됐습니다. You know, I love crime documentaries. Oh, me too. Uh, you know, these CSI yeah. type uh, yeah. shows. And always, you know, uh, investigators and detectives, they're always looking for evidence uh, to find the suspect. So that's the most important, in, especially in the court of law, right? Yeah, and I think they say you're innocent until proven guilty. Mm-hmm. So you need that evidence right. if you want to convict someone. And not circumstantial someone. evidence. You that's need right. direct evidence, right? 그렇죠. 정황상의. 증거라는 건 circumstantial evidence라고 하는데요. 그 말고 물증이 필요하잖아요. 이런 crime scene에서는 그래서 이런 것들을 다 uh, evidence, proof라고 얘기를 할수 있습니다. 자 다시 한번 제가 읽어보겠습니다. Bobby the dog has been posthumously stripped of his title as world's oldest dog. As the Guinness World Records said, it had no evidence that the elderly canine who died last year was as old as claimed. And now moving on, let's talk about truffles. Chinese exports of truffles reached a record high last year, highlighting the increasing demand for the prized delicacy not only abroad, but also at home, once used as pig feed just three decades ago. 작년 중국의 송로버섯 수출량이 역대 최고치를 나타냈습니다. 30년 전만 해도 돼지 사료로 쓰이던 이 귀한 진미가 이제 해외는 물론 중국 내에서도 수요가 증가하고 있는 가운데 나온 기록입니다. Yeah. Who knew China was such a big uh, country for the export of truffles? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, 보통 우리가 이제 3대 진미 하면은 caviar 하고 foie gras 하고 요거 truffles. Truffles. Oh, oh I did not know that. 생각을 많이 하는데 중국이도 이렇게 수출을 많이 하네요. Mm-hmm. What's more surprising is that it used to be fed to pigs. Yes. So it's funny how supply and demand works, right? When uh, no one is eating truffles and they're being fed to pigs, I'm sure it was really cheap. Yeah. But now that people want it, uh, I guess suppliers and manufacturers know that you can charge uh-huh. a lot more money. And it seems like China is exporting a lot of truffles. In fact, 32 and a half tons of uh, truffles were exported last year from oh, China. Wow. Yeah. Uh-huh. Even more than France, because I would imagine that France would have been the number one country, yeah. but uh, China I- is much higher than that. Absolutely. Uh, well, the Chinese exports, it highlights that there is this increasing demand. Yeah, so uh, which came first, right? Mm. Is it the demand or is it the exports? Uh, so the, these numbers show, or they highlight, or they emphasize, right? Mm. They play, pay, place attention to, yeah. like a highlighter. Right. Yeah, I have a highlighter in my bag. Yeah. Were you the um, type that uh, used to highlight your entire textbook <laughs> in no, school? No. So were you? There were students like that. Okay. No, I wasn't. <laughs> but, you know, some people like to underline right. every single line or highlighter. Mm. But, yeah. 그래요. 우리 형광펜을 영어로 highlighter라고 해요. 그래서 highlighting 하는 것이 형광펜 밑줄 짝 하는 것처럼 뭔가 강조한다라는 뜻이 있는데요. 여기서는 그걸 보여준다 이렇게 해석을 할수 있습니다. 작년에 중국의 송로버섯 수출, the exports of truffles가 아, 최고 수준이었다. It reached a record high. 그래서 그게 뭘 보여주느냐? An increasing demand가 highlighted 됐대요. Now truffles are a prized delicacy, right? They are. You know, they're so if something is prized, like you see the word prize in there, it's cherished yeah. or it's admired. Um, and a delicacy is something that's very pleasing to eat. You think of something more, ex- kind of more on the expensive side uh, of ingredients, you would say. So a prized delicacy or like a prized possession, mm. a prized collection is another thing that uh, is often used. But prized possession is a, is a term that's often used, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Do you have yeah. any prized possessions? Like um, I have a baseball card collection. Oh, do you? Um, from my youth that yeah, I yeah. still hold on to. You they're should, probably yeah, worth nothing You never now. know. No, One day <laughs> you might have to sell them at auction. But it, <laughs> is, it, it is a prized uh, personal collection. Yeah, oh. 굉장히 소중하게 여기는 어떤 개인 소장품이 있을 때 This is my prized possession 이렇게 표현할 수 있고요 또 여기서는 굉장히 진귀한 그런 어, 음식 재료다라는 뜻으로 It's a prized delicacy 
있다고 했습니다. Yeah, so in China specifically, it's Yunnan province. This is the heart. This is the uh, kind of the mecca of Chinese truffle production. They produce 300 tons of truffles annually. That's 10 times the annual production. Of France, so oh, really? there you go. Relatively, not even relatively, yeah. it's a lot of truffles. Ah, <gasps> France보다 무려 열 배나 더 많이 이렇게 어, 생산을 하는군요. 자, 다시 한번 읽어보겠습니다. Chinese exports of truffles reached a record high last year, highlighting the increasing demand for the prized delicacy, not only abroad but also at home. Once used as pig feed, just three decades ago. Well, that's it for the headlines.